Welcome back. In the previous video, we found the distance between R and Q. In this video, we are going to find the bearing of pot Q from pot R. Now, to find the bearing of pot Q from R, we know that the bearing of pot Q from pot R will be measured from the zero line of pot R in the clockwise direction up to the line joining port R to port Q. So it means that we are going to measure it from this side here straight up to this side here. But we know one thing. We know that this angle here has already been found to be 65 degrees. We already know this angle here to be 65 degrees. So what is left of us to do is to find this angle here. If you're able to find this angle here indicated with the red color, we add it to the angle here which is indicated with the blue color, that is 65 degrees, and we'll be able to find the bearing of pot K from pot R. Okay, so how do we find that angle here? The angle indicated with red as shown in this diagram. How are we going to find it? I'm going to call that angle angle theta. I'm going to call this angle here angle theta. So if I call this angle here angle theta on this diagram, on this right angle triangle, I can also indicate theta here. Now look at something. You see that theta, you can see that theta is the angle formed on pot R. So here the angle on pot R is also theta. You are want to, I want to find the value of theta. Considering theta, 80 kilometers is opposite. 54 kilometers is adjacent. Considering the angle theta, you can see that 80 kilometers is opposite to theta. 54 kilometers is adjacent to theta. In order to find theta, I'll have to use one of the three trigonometric ratios we've learned under trigonometry. Cos, sine, and tan. Now, I have opposite and adjacent. We know that if you have opposite and adjacent, the trigonometric ratio that you have to use is tan, because tan will give you opposite over adjacent. So here, to help us find theta, I'm going to use tan. Okay, so as soon as we are able to find theta, we can say that the bearing of pot K from pot R will give us 60 degrees plus theta. So let's find theta. From the right angle triangle, we can say that theta tan theta is equal to opposite, which is 80 kilometers, divided by adjacent, which is 54 kilometers. So the kilometer will cancel the kilometer. How do you find theta? We can say that theta is equal to tan inverse of 80 divided by 54. So all we need to do is to find a tan inverse of 80 divided by 54. We know how to do that, right? You press on shift, then you press on tan. Then you bring your division sign 80 divided by 54 from there you close the bracket and tan theta is giving us 55.5 55.980 it goes on and on remember the question said that we should run we should leave our answer in one decimal place so here i run this if you are leaving your answer in one decimal place here you will see that you add one to nine when you add one to nine it becomes zero so you transfer it to this side which becomes 56. as i said if you want to learn how to do this watch the video on approximations i explain that into details so leaving our answer in one decimal place you are going to have 56 degrees or 56 degrees point zero which is the same thing so we have found theta but theta is not the bearing of pot K from pot R. We know that the bearing of pot K from pot R is 65 degrees plus theta. 
we have found theta to be 56 degrees. So what do we do? 60, the bearing of pot K from pot R is equal to 65 degrees plus theta, which is now 56 degrees. And this is going to give us 121 degrees. So we can say that the bearing of pot K from pot R is 121 degrees if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video where we will solve another question on distance bearing problem bye bye